How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Fright Night Friday. Today I will be sharing with you another scary story, but not from no sleep. No, this is a personal ghost story. An encounter? You... There's sounds in my house. Maybe I shouldn't tell this story. But no, this is a personal story that happened to me ooh, quite a few years ago. Back when I was a teenager, so back when I was a hooligan, this happened. And let me tell you, I still remember it. And this experience has happened to me quite a few times over the years. Never in the new house we moved into. Actually, that's a lie. It's happened once. So before I tell the story, be sure you have the lights turned off. You got some snacks, hot chocolate, like I do. And let's get this story started. So this incident, I guess incident wouldn't be the word. You know what? We'll just go with incident. So this incident happened back when I was about 15 or 16, living in our old condo. Now this condo, I swear to God, was haunted. All right, it had its own issues. Three floors, my room was on the third floor, so we had a third floor, we had the main floor, and then we had the basement. If you've watched any of my videos, then you know that I don't like basements. And this condo was the main reason why. I hate basements, okay? I despise them. So this basement was it was not finished. It was creepy as hell. So when you open the door, you had wooden steps leading all the way down. And they're pretty steep steps. But there's no backing to the stairs. So you could be walking down and you can just imagine some hand shooting out and grabbing your ankle and just yanking you down the stairs. Which was one of the fears when I was a kid, right? But yeah, the stairs were like wooden, they were creaky, you would go down it's like unfinished basement with like this concrete floor, concrete walls, I think. And they had we had one wall on the back there that covered the the furnace and we had the laundry room. <laughs> and we had no door to this laundry room. It was just a curtain hanging over it. Okay? And we'd always pin up the curtain. Well I'd pin up the curtain because I always feel like something's watching me when I was down in that basement. Anytime I was in this basement, I felt like something was watching me, okay, when I was a kid. Fast forward to me 15, 16. So I was about 16, maybe 17, right? My sister had her baby, and I decided, hey, I want to move into the basement. Great idea. Well, you know, I was, I was, I was a teenager, and I'm like, basement... That'd be cool. My own room in the basement, built one. You know, seclusion. What kind of, who, which teenager doesn't love that, right? So we ended up building a room for myself in this basement. It was a nice room. It was big. Bigger than the one I'm in right now, I think. It was big, but it was in the basement. And anytime I was in the basement, like I said, I felt like something was watching me. Now, this didn't stop once I moved into the basement. I always felt like... There was a presence in this basement. There was just something kind of looming over me, right? Just looming over me, just watching me. Uh, but being 17, you know, being like, oh, I'm not scared anymore. It, I just shrugged it off, you know? I was like, that's ah, just, it's just my, it's just my imagination playing with me. It's just my, my fear of this stupid, dank, dark basement. Oh, I hate it. I hate that fucking basement. So the night this happened, I was playing World of Warcraft. That's right. I was one of those Teenagers, World of Warcraft. Though the game was out for, uh, four, five, six, seven, three years? I want to say three years? Wow. I feel really old right now. But yeah, the game was out for three years, and I just ended playing a session, well, a couple, couple hours of World of Warcraft with a few friends. And it was about, I want to say about 2.33 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, okay, time for bed, right? Time to hit the hay and go to sleep. And back then, I always put my TV on to help me go to sleep. I always put on the shopping channel or uh, golfing. Golfing is just so boring to watch, but it's so relaxing. Especially if, if you're trying to sleep, right? So I put that on one of those channels. I was I was trying to go get to bed, tossing and turning a bit. So I rolled over to my side. My bed is uh, pushed against the wall. So at the wall... My wall here, and then I had the TV over on the other side of me. So I rolled over to the wall, put my head down, you know, just trying to get to sleep. And all of a sudden, 
the TV turns off. Just, just like that. My remote was nowhere near me. I don't even think I had a remote for the TV. No, I didn't have a remote for that TV, did I? But anyways, the TV just goes, turns right off. And at this point, I'm just like, there's someone in my room. <laughs> like, what? Like, who the hell is in my room? So all I did, I just laid there, facing my wall, just like, co covers over my head, of course. So the covers over my head, like that, but with like a little hole for my face, just like, you know how it is, right? You got you gotta like tuck yourself in, you know, fold the covers under your feet so the monsters don't grab your feet. It's a whole thing, all right? It's everyone knows these rules. You don't put your feet off the bed, all right? And you cuddle up in your, in your blanket. It's just, it's just the rules. I don't make them. It's it's the law, I guess. But I was in my blanket, facing the wall, and I could just feel like there's a presence in this in my room, or there's someone in my room. I, feel, I I'm gonna say someone. But I know there wasn't, because my door was locked. I always kept my door locked at night, because I was always afraid of someone breaking into the house, coming in, stabbing me in my sleep, shooting me in the head, or whatever. Yeah, I, I had a very active imagination back then. Still do. My door is still locked. It's locked right now. So I just had this like feeling like someone is in my room. And next thing I know, I feel like this heaviness it's right on top of me, like pushing me down, right? Now, a lot of people would be like, oh, well, that's that's sleep paralysis, right? You know, when you're like halfway in between sleep and um, waking up, you know, you get, you get paralysis, sleep paralysis, and it feels like a heaviness on you, right? The thing was, this happened like pretty much just after I turned the TV on and I turned over to go to bed. Then the TV went off. Then... I felt the presence in my room, and I felt this heaviness on me. But the thing was, I could still move a bit, right? I could still move my arms and stuff, my legs. But I felt like I was getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier until I couldn't move anymore. So here I am in my bed with this weight just pressing down on me. And all of a sudden, I start to hear these whispers just, just going off in my ear. It's like, I was like really fast low whispering just going off not in one ear it was like you go one ear then you go to the other one one ear then to the other one then, I, then <laughs> this is really weird and i was frozen i felt like i was frozen in fear just these whispers going off and i'm trying to listen to what these whispers are trying to say i was like multiple voices just going off in my ear I, it was hard to lock on to any one of them but then i heard one voice which, this was the first time I heard this voice. But not the last time. Alright. I think this was like the first encounter. With whatever whatever it was. All the voices just stopped going off. And this one voice broke through. And it was really, it was like a really deep guttural. It was like a really deep guttural. How do I describe it? Really deep and guttural like shards in your throat, like glass in your throat. It's very deep. And it just kept saying, <laughs> and it just kept saying, if you, <laughs> if you try to move, if you try to speak, I will kill you, all right? And it kept saying this over and over again from each year to each year. And as he kept saying it, I felt more pressure being pushed down on myself. On my spine, just like I felt like if he kept if if it kept going, my back was gonna break. Like I would fold in half. And as the voice is just talking to my ear, going back and forth, I'm like laying on my laying on my this, at this point I'm like on my stomach. I'm like bringing my arms up very slow. I'm like trying to bring my arms up, trying to like push myself up. Right? I mean, that's, I think that's a common reaction when you when you feel that way, terrified. You just wanna push yourself up and get the out of there just get just go right flight fight or flight and i was gonna fly but the more and more i tried to bring my arms up the more and more the pressure got and the more and more this voice started to go faster and faster and at this at this point i was just sweating and i was just filled with it felt like it was pure dread the feeling i had like this whatever it was this like essence or spirit or whatever it was like i could feel how evil it was it was like so just so dark, like a Black Sabbath. If you don't know the story about Black Sabbath, then 
you would know how they got their name and the songs and everything like that. I felt like a black sound, like just a dark entity, like just filled with like, just very dark. I'll just say that it was very dark. And I felt like, well, this is it. I'm gonna die. This is how I die. Or yeah, I'm gonna get possessed and they're gonna take my body over or something, something freaking crazy like that, right? And I'll never forget that feeling. To this day, it's so vivid in my memory. It's like how purely evil it was, right? Just. Uh, I, just, I, get, I get chills just thinking about that. At a certain point, the voices just stop, and I feel this pressure just let off me. What I did was I, I jumped up off the bed as fast as I could, flipped the lights on just to, see, just to be able to see, and there was nothing there. There was absolutely nothing there. My door was still locked. My TV was off, and there was just nothing there. I... But I could feel whatever was there was was gone. You know, it was like hiding or whatever. And this was, I think this was like the first week I moved into the, my new room when it got built. So my, the first time I moved into the basement. This has never happened in, in this condo until I moved into this basement. Like I said, there's, there's evil in that basement. I swear to God, it's probably still there. But it never ever happened to me any other times until I was in that basement. And that was just the first time. That was in there, right? This has happened to me, I don't know, a couple times, to be honest with you. Now, some are gonna say mm, sleep paralysis, possibly. Well, I, I, I know it wasn't. I've had sleep paralysis before. I usually get it a lot. All right, when I was, when I usually get very stressed, I get sleep paralysis. This wasn't that. This was something completely different. This was dark. This was very dark. I don't like thinking about it. Yeah, we had a lot of weird incidents gone in that in that condo you know it was really odd but usually most of the stuff happened in the basement anytime we were I was in the basement was like with my sister and my friends uh, sleepovers I always felt like something was always just like watching me from this basement you know even my friends were really like scared of the basement my sister I think she was scared of it. yeah I'm pretty sure she was a little scared of the basement I don't know, maybe there were, there's like a, a person that died in there, or they're, they're, they got murdered in the house. No one, I don't really know. I know we got the, the condo for cheap back in the day. I mean, that was one of the reasons why. But yeah, that is my, well, that is one of many true, I guess, I guess ghost stories or experiences that have happened to me. Spiritual, supernatural, supernatural experience. We'll go with that. That was one of the many supernatural experiences that happened to me. That is one of the most, like, vivid things that I can remember. And that wasn't the only time that has happened. It's happened quite a few more times. In that condo and then once in the new house. But it hasn't happened in years here. So it might be because of all the cats we got. You know, cats ward off evil spirits. How many cats I got? I'm not going to say. But yeah, that was the story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I, tr I try to tell it to the best of my ability. I'm usually not very good at telling stories. in like one on one, right? I'm not a good storyteller. But if, if I have like a piece of paper in front of me or I'm thinking about it, typing it down, definitely. This is just all from my head, right? I, maybe I should have typed it down before filming this, but you know, I don't think it would have came across as natural as it was. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little story. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. So you guys get notified for any future videos that are coming out in the future. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out!